Hey everybody, it's Bob Boob, the real estate guy. Okay, actually, hi, this is Bob Boob, the real estate guy. Hey, I'm at 528 Spook Hollow Road in the metropolis of Linden, PA. Man, isn't this a pretty country location? Kind of just scanning the neighborhood to you. Let me see, I'm looking, I think, north this way. Yeah, and I'm looking south this way. This is a beautiful house. We're gonna have a little bit of fun here walking and talking today. You'll see this is a, I guess a raised ranch uh, style house because uh, you have one one level living here, but you do have some steps that go down into the driveway area. Nice two car garage. You'll see over there by that super cool Jeep, there's a really nice pool. We'll walk over there in just a little bit. I think what I'm gonna do is let me start you inside the property. Uh, I think I just said it's Pyatt Township. Pyatt Township's part of the Jersey Shore School District. So this is a nice front porch for sitting and just relaxing. This is a really quiet night. I'm just gonna be quiet for a moment. It's hard for me to do. Do you hear that? It's just birds. All right, that's as long as I can stay quiet for. Okay, so let's continue on. Of course, walking into a it's a nice size living room. This is uh got an open concept. You'll see you got living room. Of course, over here is the dining room. Over there will be the kitchen. One of the things you're going to notice, even though none of the decor, the personal stuff is included with the sale, um, probably kitchen appliances are that sort of thing, but you're just going to see there's lots of love in this house. Um, family has lots of kids and grandkids, and you're just going to see some neat things here that you can tell this family uh, has really enjoyed this house, and I'm sure their family members have. But we got a uh, nice kitchen, lots of cabinets. Um, looks like that's quartz or granite or some sort of a stone top. That's really nice. We have a dishwasher. Let me kind of spin here while I'm talking. So it's a nice size, nice size kitchen area. And then we're still on the first floor here. And of course, here's the laundry room. Kind of here's some of the laundry being done. I do not believe the washer and dryer are part of the sale. So now here is a bathroom, but it has a walkway from another bedroom. So your company can shut that door here and your company can use it. Of course, there we have the toilet and the sink. And then here we have a big, big shower, two seater. So I suppose if you want to take a shower with a good friend, there you go. And then we walk into, honestly guys, normally this would be what I'd be telling you is the master bedroom, but there's told you there's lots of love here, but there is a I'm assume by the colors here and stuff a little girl that is super spoiled got a big closet nice size room and I didn't open that window there, but that would be facing west and she got cool TV up here. I think this was probably originally a large walk-in closet um, It's got TV in here, too, but it looks like this is it's a sewing room for somebody and yeah so then kind of just giving you a couple of different views okay so that's one bedroom i'm gonna need your help here counting them so we got one bedroom all right and i'm going to show you this here now i'm coming off the laundry room and here's a set of steps that take us downstairs we'll come back there but i want to show you that because there's two sets of steps that take us down into the lower level now here we have this dining area and then here there's an opening and I'm going to call the dining room. So this is a nice size room. So there's just, I'm going to have to make up room names here in this house before I'm done with it. I know that's a wood pellet stove. So if you want to let's see, yeah, that's wood pellet. Just making sure I'm giving you good information. And this is a little bit of a fenced in yard area. Looks like somebody got tired and just left them over there. Man, I've been there a bunch of times. But little fenced in yard area. So that would be good either for the small kids to play or maybe if you got a pet. Um, whatnot. And then I want to show you in here. I almost didn't open this door earlier, but this is actually a large closet, what I'm gonna call pantry. Look at all them goodies. So if you're short and ranch dressing or syrup, peanut butter, let's come visit this family. So as I spin around here, just kind of give you the room in some different angles. All right, now check this out. Here is now what they use as the master bedroom which this is about the size of some houses that I've sold. I, I honestly, I don't know what this is. Six, 12, 18. This has got to be 25 by 25. I mean, it is just huge. Ginormous. Ginormous is a professional real estate 
term, but this is really just a really big room. You can see now behind me, 160, oh, ugly guy in the mirror. <coughs> Excuse me, there's a very large walk-in closet. Um, looks like that must be access to get over overhead there. Man, my closet never looks that neat and organized. All right, so let me see here. So see that door there? See this door here from the dining room? All right, so let me walk back here give you the flow that's going on. So now we're here back in the, what I'm calling the main part of the house with the living room, dining area, in the kitchen. I gotta slow down, I'm gonna give you guys like riding a roller coaster. All right, now look here. That's a set of steps that take us down the basement. So that's the second set. And then to my left, or this would be on the west side, this is another bedroom. So that's three bedrooms now. That ginormous, um, again, remembering ginormous is a professional real estate term, bedroom. Then we have like a normal master bedroom and then this one so that's three now this room here is used as a bathroom again another ugly guy in that mirror has the tub in here all right that doesn't have two seats you can't bring your friend to that one but then there's this big hot tub room area so that's cool now this will take you actually out so now i'm facing north this is actually you can go outside and this is some of the yard area here. And you go all the way, uh, you can kind of almost see that mow mark there. See where that white utility trailer is to the left? Kind of go up towards that telephone pole and then cut right. And that's still all part of this lot. Uh, the tax map is like 1.47, but I guess if I'm allowed to just say one and a half acres um, of ground. So now you see what I did. Now I've come back into that ginormous. Yes, again, ginormous is a professional real estate term, bedroom. We got a fireplace in here. I'm assuming the fireplace will be included. Uh, double check the information sheet in case I'm giving any bad information. All right, so I think I've gotten you into all the rooms in this upper level. So let me take you downstairs. I'm gonna push pause real quick, be right back. All right, I'm back, I'm outside. I just wanna show you your perspective. Okay, so here's the asphalt driveway you come in. Here's this garage. And of course, we'll go over that pool area soon. So you have this lower level door, and then of course that upper level door, that's where I started this video at. So when we come in here, here's one of those sets of steps. To my right is the most organized garage that I've seen in a long time. A two car garage, was a nice grill. Let me come back in over here, and this is a really big like family room area or rec room. And Let's see, oh yeah, let me show you this in here. This is where the expansion tank is for the well water freezer. And of course, here's all the panel boxes. Yes, I know you should have covers on those, but uh, there, well, there's one of them at least then. But, uh, but lots of good little breakers. This is where the water's coming in. That's a UV light to make sure there's no cooties in your water. And then when you come back here, again, we're back in the family room. Oh, here's another bedroom area. So this is kind of just a small room they're using as you can see with the bedroom so that would be bedroom number four if you want to call it that and then as we continue here this is another bedroom area so this would be number number five they got tvs all over this house i love these people and then kind of give you this perspective here too see how that is now here is that other set of steps that I was showing you from that upstairs hallway then. I'll come right back there because I got to straddle that uh, dog gate. And then here is another bedroom area. So you can see, oh, another TV. We should have been counting TVs that are walking around here. So that's like bedroom number six that I'm seeing. Now let's see if I can do this while I'm recording, if I can straddle this dog gate without falling. All right. I'm not real sure what to call this room. I'm just going to call it the... The wood pellet room, it's actually large enough that you could make a little den or a workout area here, but they, of course they have this wood pellet. Yeah, I think this is wood pellet too. Let's open that up. Yep, that's wood pellet. And let's see, they got enough wood pellets for 32 years there. Uh, here I'm just gonna show you, somebody took precaution when the house was built, they put a sub pump in there, and that's just a little storage closet. All right, let me think here. Yeah, so again, that's just the steps going upstairs. 
Alrighty, am I missing anything down here? Give me a second, guys. I No, I think that's it. Uh, something I should probably share with you, too, as I'm walking outside here. I'm not seeing anything major that would keep this house from qualifying for government programs. If you watch any of my other videos, I always refer to it as the alphabet soup of financing. You have VA, thank you veterans for serving. You have FHA, RHS, which is Rural Housing Service, which sometimes is also called the USDA. Um, but they're federal programs. And then you have PHFA, which is Pennsylvania Housing, which is a state program. So there's that awesome in-ground pool. I don't know the depth of it, but it must be pretty deep if there's a diving board. And this is the, the well. Looks like that was put in by New Way Drilling then. So we got a yard area here. This house, or this house, this lot... It's like long like a rectangle. So now I'm walking south here. And of course online we'll have a copy of the tax map, that sort of thing. But I'm going to kind of walk back in here. So those are two storage sheds are included. There's like a carport area. The boat is not included. I did try that, people, but they said no, not at all. Um, should go in here. And you can see there's like a little pavilion area here they have for your pool parties. But yes, if you buy this house, you will have lots of pool parties for people that you don't even know. But again, remember how I told you earlier? Lots of fun things, lots of love going on in this place. Are you feeling that too? Hope you are. Now here's a play set. That they're going to leave that. So if you have kids or grandkids or you just want to let old neighbor kids come over, you'll have that. And then you can almost kind of see trampolines not included. I'm going to see if I can get my finger comes here. You can kind of see the burner barrel. And it comes down, hits the road, and that's where it, where it stops. So, what a cool place. And again, Bobby Booby's going to be quiet. It's just really quiet. So, if you don't want a house that's kind of quiet, then don't, don't call on this one. If you want a house that's really noisy and lots of traffic and stuff like that, yeah, call on a different property. No, I'm just joking. You can see there's been some work done to this property. There might be some things that you would want to change for your choosing but overall, it's a beautiful home, and if you want to take a look at it, call your realtor, call us. Uh, I'm Bob Boob with Century 21 First Choice Realty. Probably up and down on the screen here somewhere is the number, but it's 570-398-0690. Uh, My cell phone's 570-220-0741. I really appreciate your time and watching the video. Have a great day. See you guys later. Bye-bye.